Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night to my lovely audacious friends and family, whatever time you're watching this, and from wherever you are in the world. If you've not come across me before, hi, I'm Adam. I'm part of the pastoral team here in central Manchester, and I look after New to Faith with my wife, Jay Soon. You might have heard me talking about the Alpha course at some point or other. Before I jump into my topic for today, I just want to share with you a couple of Bible verses. Luke chapter 8, verses 16 to 18, Amplified Version. Now, no one lights a lamp and then covers it with a container to hide it or puts it under a bed. Instead, he puts it on a lampstand so that those who come in may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become evident, nor anything secret that will not be known and come out into the open. So be careful how you listen, for whoever has a teachable heart, to him more understanding will be given. And whoever does not have a longing for truth, even what he thinks he has, will be taken away from him. Amen. Now, Today, I wanted to share with you something that's been playing on my mind a lot recently. You know when you get one of those feelings that you just really can't shake? Yeah, it's one of those. It's just been lodged in there for ages. I can't shake this image of a bucket from my mind. A bucket? <laughs> yeah, I know, a bucket. But yes, it's not just any bucket, though. This is a rather old, crusty, rubbish-looking bucket. It doesn't do anybody any favours. It likely causes more problems than it's worth. When I was first writing this, I felt tears welling up because, sadly, I've been one of those buckets before. On more than one occasion, actually. Looking ugly inside and out proving to be leaky and leaving a mess all over the place. And most shockingly, putting myself over people's bright lights, unwittingly snuffing them out at times, or at least stifling their glow somewhat. So my recommendation today to you, everyone out there, is don't be a bad bucket. Got it? <laughs> Sounds strange, right, doesn't it? But just bear with me, please. My key verses stem from a parable in the book of Luke where Jesus is sharing his ultimate wisdom with the disciples and any others that are drawn close to him. Jesus declares, no one lights a lamp and then covers it with a container to hide it or puts it under a bed. Now, that's a definite home truth right there, isn't it? Just take a moment to stop and think about that, though. And I don't just mean from a Christian point of view like we tend to do. I'm thinking about from any point of view. You wouldn't get some candles and ignite them and then hide them in places that nobody could see them. You also wouldn't install brand new lighting systems and then completely cover them up so they're masked. And then think about when you're in your car at night time. Just see what happens when you start driving in the dark with blackout paint over the headlights. See how that works out. As you can probably guess, I'm talking about being rather wasteful here, but I'm also talking about doing something rather dangerous. I think we can all agree that none of us want to do anything like that at all, and it's only by the grace of God that I wasn't tossed onto the scrap heap for doing something just like that over and over again. So praise God for that, definitely. Now, let's take a look at another passage briefly. This is what's said in the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. Again, go with the amplified version. You are the light of Christ the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify 
your father who is in heaven. Amen. Right? Amen. <laughs> the message is pretty clear, right? We, as Christians, are given this beautiful gift by Jesus, something that should never, ever, 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 ever be taken for granted like I did. We should let our light shine brightly for the rest of the world to see, so our actions bring glory to God in heaven. Not only that, though, but we should also lift others up, help them to be that light that penetrates the darkness. Never, ever, ever hold them back. Never, ever, ever be that bad bucket that dulls their glow. Be a good bucket. <laughs> Yes, we are back to the bucket analogy. What do I mean about being a good bucket, though? It might be clear now what being a bad bucket is. I think I've got that point across, right? But what about being a good bucket? Well, let me just jump quickly to the story of the woman at the well, where Jesus encounters a Samaritan woman. Do you see where I'm going with this? Again, he imparts his godly wisdom upon her, much to her confusion. He states in John chapter 4, verse 14, NIV version this time, whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Have you got it yet? What can hold water well? A good bucket. <laughs> now I know 99% of you were already there, but hey, there we go. My suggestion then is that we all head to that well of life, that never ending spring of living water and make yourself useful. Make yourself a good bucket, if you will, scooping up more and more of that eternal, endless supply of Jesus's blessing for yourself, for your family, for your friends, work colleagues, strangers on the street, anybody that you meet. Be a good book it and pour out the love of Jesus to everybody that you meet. Let the light of Jesus Christ shine bright and don't do anything to stop the Holy Spirit from pouring out in abundance. Thank you so much for your time today, dear family and friends. May God bless you abundantly in every single way that you need this day and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.